in Iraq, Parliament has voted or voted four years ago to remove all U.S. bases, but the United States has refused to leave. And what they do is that they take uh, the money that Iraq receives from its oil sales, keep it in a U.S. bank account, and they spoon feed the Iraqis. And whenever the Iraqis want to, conf let's say, reaffirm their independence or the, whenever the Iraqis want to uh, show resolve about their sovereignty, the United States withholds the, uh, the budget or the money that they need for their budget. So U.S. forces continue to remain in Iraq, and overwhelmingly, Iraqis are opposed. And this causes natural tensions. This causes anger, and this causes resistance. The same is true in Syria. The U.S. occupies roughly one-third of Syria, and it cooperates with ISIS in the Al Tanf area, which recently we saw three American soldiers killed. Uh, that is where a large number of uh, tribes that were affiliated with ISIS reside, and the Americans train them, support them. Then they carry out attacks on the Syrian army and go back to their bases. And of course, no Americans are ever killed. So in, in Syria, too, like in Iraq, People are completely opposed to the U.S. occupation, and there is resistance, like there would be resistance everywhere else, like there was resistance in your country during the English uh, colonial period.